Hey there, welcome to our video. Um, you've asked for it, it's coming to you. This is gonna be our ranking of our opinion on the cruise lines we have um, visited. And I will call this marriage counseling. <laughs> this is gonna be good. <laughs> so far, the cruise lines we've been on is Disney, Carnival, Royal, Norwegian, and MSC. Yes. We've been on 18 cruises so far. The most cruise cruise line that we've been on is Disney. With nine. Yeah. And then Carnival would be next. And then Carnival, then uh, Royal, then Norwegian, then MSC. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you ready to get into Let's it? Let's get We it. kind of put it into a few categories. Um, and if there's a category we're missing, leave a, leave a comment below and we'll, um, we'll give you our opinion on that category. Um, but I think we're going to start off with... Um, you want to start off with food? Sure, One of my favorite great. topics is food. Yes. All right, so we are breaking this down between, we're, the first category is going to be food options um, because I think that's different than quality or taste of food. So we're going to go food options. So um, what is your top pick for food options? Which cruise line wins your food options? I'm going to pretty much come and tell you every one of them is probably going to be Disney. And so it is Disney for me. Hold on, where's my Disney? It's Carnival. Carnival, it's Disney. Carnival hits the top for the food options. I think Disney does. Well, you're wrong. Well, <laughs> how could I be wrong? They keep their sandwich stations open late so you can get burgers even into, you know, 9 or 10 o'clock. 9 they're or 10 o'clock is late, but, okay, Carnival has it till like 4 a.m. Yeah, but you're talking about that by the you're talking about only you can get pizza at 4 a.m. I just want to let you know that we've had many of these conversations before the filming of this video and they've all gone like this. <laughs> also, Disney gives free room service, so you can order room service. So if you had the option, everybody does room service, but at least Disney's is free. No, I agree. I mean, I, I get that. I just think that Carnival, you never have to go to a main dining room ever if you don't want to. There's plenty of options everywhere else. But if you're on a Disney cruise ship, why would you miss the main dining? That's not the same thing. <laughs> so Carnival would be my second. Okay. And then it would be um, Royal. I know there's some Norwegian people that would be upset. Yeah. Um, and then MSC definitely would be last. Yeah. So, um, of course, I'm going to be different. I definitely think Carnival has the most food options. And then I would probably say, <laughs> I'm gonna actually put Disney second in that one. I'll put Disney second. Um, then of course I will go Royal after that. Norwegian, which sadly is I'm having a hard time remembering Norwegian's food options. Shocking, MSC's last for yes. me. Yeah, so. Would you like to rank the main dining? Okay, well, Disney's definitely number one. No, Disney's I mean, definitely number one. Yeah, I love the way they do their rotational dining. I love the fact that you have the same servers every night um, in no matter what restaurant you go to. Um, yeah, they, uh, I mean, you just can't beat Disney's main dining room mm -hmm. with the show and everything else. I mean, obviously, and then I would definitely say, um, oh gosh, that's tough. It's royal number two for me. Yeah, yeah, I would think so. Um, options of food, quality, taste of food on that one yeah. for sure. Um, and MSC is actually number three for me on this because the I server agree. was very attentive. The food came yeah. out quick. Yeah. The food was, that was the hottest food we had on that cruise. Yeah, I would, I'm going to agree on those. Yeah. I definitely would say that. Yeah, I, I would almost put Norwegian next Norwegian and then yet. MSC because no, no. on Nor I mean, not, I'm not MSC, I'm sorry, Carnival, Carnival lasts. lasts on Main Dining, yeah. yeah. Especially, now I will say that um, that is since they changed the menus in Carnival, which is recent. Yeah. So since they changed the Main Dining menus, like, I don't know if we'll really go to much of the Main Dining at all. I didn't really enjoy it at all. Mm -hmm. So... Now, it could be a little bit because we are a bit picky or yeah. eaters. Yeah, we don't eat seafood or, you know, like... We're not a beef Wellington type people, like so that will that does make a difference. So no. obviously this is our opinion and things like no. that. We're just we're not fancy people. So um, all right, so we're gonna go taste the food next. Disney. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I mean, I'm the guy wearing Captain Mickey shirt. Yeah, so I think. Yeah, I think I am gonna go Disney for taste the food. Mm -hmm. 
but I will do, I will say no matter where you go on Disney, um, whether it be a poolside um, snack option, whether it be room service, I mean, you're going to get quality food. Like it's, it's, there's just no comparison. Welcome to the Disney Cruise Line infomercial. I, I mean, we've even done the pay for on Disney and yeah. it was like phenomenal. I mean, it, it, I mean, I, I'm going to say Royal is definitely number two in Taste of Food. Well, Royal is number two, but as far as like the grab-and-go options, Carnival's, whether it be Big Chicken or whether it be the lunch at Kachina or whether it be, you know, Guy's Burger, that taste is so good and you can't get that on most cruise lines. No, I get that, but that's, that's, you're going, I'm just going overall Taste of Food. Like if you had the overall Taste of Food, my, my two is Royal because... A lot of other cruise lines, and I understand why they do this. They don't really season foods, you know, mm -hmm. because you're 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 catering to the masses, and maybe somebody doesn't like salty food or spices. And but Royal, I felt like had the most flavor of no matter where we went to eat, the food was actually I could taste it. If it said it was mango flavored, it tasted like mango. Like you go on Carnival, and I think every cheesecake flavor they have all tastes the same, and it's all room temperature. So that that to me kind of falls down. So for me too is definitely royal. What's your two? Carnival. Really? Yeah. He's wrong. Um, number three for me is going to be Norwegian. Really? Yeah. yeah. Because I enjoyed the main dining. Like, I mean, like I thought the steak was better in the main dining than it was in the steakhouse. Didn't we do that at the steakhouse? Yes. Yeah. So I don't remember. <laughs> um, yeah. Instead of Cagney. Yeah. yeah. I, I, think, I think Norwegian's food was very good. Um, Royal's number three for me. Wow. Oh. Obviously, four for me is Carnival. I mean, not, yeah. And oh, MSC is number five. Like, if there was a number 10 list, I'd put MSC as number 10. Like, I hated it. All right, we're going to get off food for now. Let's go. We should have ranked ice cream, like free ice cream options. because They're all free ice cream. They all taste great. Yeah, but we don't like them all the same. Because, like, Royal ranks down at the very... That's because then we had two machines available, and they were both down. I think you got, like... 5,000 people on a ship and you have two little ice cream machines. Like, that bothers me. <laughs> you see, we're, see, we, we don't like this. Okay, so we're going to do entertainment next. And we're breaking entertainment down into two kind of categories. Um, the variety of entertainment versus the quality of entertainment. Because I feel like those are two different things. So Disney's number one. I got five. <laughs> Disney's number one. Are you doing variety or are you doing quality? I just love Disney's entertainment. <laughs> Disney's <laughs> number one. Carn really? Carnival gets the variety of entertainment for me. Yes. You only go to comedy on uh, Carnival. Mm, okay. Oh, well, that's right. You Love and Marriage. They have Love and Marriage show. Mm -hmm. They have Family Feud show. They have tons of trivia all the time. Just because I don't do it doesn't mean the variety is not there. Like, you could choose to do something all day long on Carnival. There's mm -hmm. just tons. They have bingo. They have, um, they, they just have a lot of stuff. They have a lot of the um, talks. Why are you laughing? <laughs> there's a lot of variety. Even just because we don't choose to do it doesn't mean there's not a huge variety on Carnival to do. And I think they have the most. No, 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 no. Put that down. We're not ready for that. <laughs> I will say, Carnival's number one. You can't argue with me. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> number two. Is Royal. Um, Look, man, Broadway shows, the dive shows, they did have comedy where they okay. only fill it. They have okay. ice skating shows. That's true. Okay. I'll and they you, did have trivia throughout. Yeah, you're right. I think, yeah, that was pretty good. That's a good one. Um, I'm going to go number three is Disney. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> when do I call our daughter? No, because, uh, I I will explain my why I rank Disney where I rank in a little bit. But Disney I put there in the middle because you do have. A, you, <laughs> this might be our last video together. <laughs> Disney has options throughout the day on the ship of things to do. It's just you know. I don't know. I can't. <laughs> Let's see if we make it through this video. <laughs> Number four for me, sorry, I'm spitting on myself, is Norwegian. 
Uh, number four is Norwegian. As much as I didn't like some of the stuff they did, that choir of men show is great. No, that's quality. <laughs> yes, but they have a lot of stuff. Yes, okay. They did have a lot of options. And mm -hmm. MSC, I mean, I sadly, I don't remember us doing anything throughout the day. Like, I didn't, I didn't think they had much stuff to do. No, we went and watched the one, um, How They Make the Chocolate. Oh, don't get me started on that. You can watch my video for my thoughts on that one. I didn't enjoy that. No, the nighttime entertainment was good. Yeah. As yeah. for MSC. Yeah. And it's probably the best as far as nighttime like... Nighttime parties like and parties stuff. Parties and stuff. Oh, I guess we should have done a deck party one. Like, no. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll add that in. <laughs> love deck parties. Don't love deck parties. So anyway, quality of entertainment, then. Who is your number one of quality of entertainment? It's Disney. Oh, it's Disney. It's Disney. No. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I should just stop and start at number two for me. No, because Disney's quality of their shows are, are just unbelievable. And it doesn't matter what kind of show. And it, yeah, so Disney definitely gets... Because I add, when I say entertainment, I don't mean just the stage shows. Because dinner shows. Every show at dinner is top notch yeah. so yeah i mean you have to give them number one number two royal number two really yeah i was shocked yeah i really really enjoyed the railway show and i enjoyed the dive show on that okay now i'm not sure how i would feel if i was on you know a different class of ship we just happened to be on an oasis class ship right for that. right yeah so i'm not yeah. sure how i would yeah. feel on it if i was like on independence or mariner or whatever, right of course we've only yeah show. we've only done the larger ship yeah. so yeah take that in consideration when you listen to this rant um yeah i will go royal on that too because of the options i mean i yeah i, I mean i didn't fully enjoy the comedians on royal no, um, but compared to what my number three was, which was Norwegian, they were better than Norwegian. So, but again, that's personal preference. I mean, you know, we have a warped sense of humor, so that's, you know, obviously Carnival's going to be number one in there. Um, and then... Um, number three for me is Carnival. I think we were... Oh, really? Yes, because I do like the comedians, and the fact that if I wanted to watch two different comedians on one night okay. and see two different types of shows... And but you're talking about variety. I'm, again, I'm talking about quality. That was quality. Okay. I'm getting great quality because okay. then I'm getting to watch a third show if I want to sometimes in the Grand Spectrum okay, Theater. Okay, so rank yours from top to bottom. All right, so quality. It's, it's Disney, okay. Royal, Carnival, Norwegian, MSC. The Norwegian show, it would be better if Norwegian had not stopped doing their Broadway shows. And on a lot of the ships, I'm not sure if it's all of them now, but they have taken the Broadway ships. All the ships that we've been on, they've taken the Broadway shows off of them. So you only get choir of men. You only get comedy stuff. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah. But I'm still, okay, so for me, I'm going Disney 1, Royal 2. I'm still going Norwegian 3 because I think the shows on Carnival are just hot trash. Like, I, I mean, I love the comedy, but that's it. You don't like love and marriage and family feud? Okay. I don't consider that because family feud, um, they have to follow a certain, um, what do you call it? Like Guidelines. Yeah, they have to follow guidelines in order to use the family mm -hmm. feud. So it has to be a certain way. And I love the show in general, so I don't know. I, I think quality, I think more of... The quality of singing, dancing, um, you know, the actual um, choreography that's put on in a show is what I think of when I think quality. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I think Carnivals is really lacking. Like, I mean, we've tried to watch some of their shows and I just can't get through them. Like, I just think they're really bad. And I, and I feel bad saying that because obviously I have no talent whatsoever. So I'm not a singer. I'm not a dancer. I'm not anything. But... I just don't like them at all. Now, in, in the caveat, I know people, I've talked to people that think that the shows their are great. shows are amazing. Yeah, so. And they think they're great. We just, it's not our cup of tea. Right. Now, we'll go on Carnival in May with our two young adult daughters. And I, I have decided that we are going to go and let them watch some of the shows because I want to know if it's just us that don't like the shows. Like, they might love the circus show and the, all those, but like, 
We'll see. I'm, I'm just curious if it's just mine. And put it in the comments below. Like, is it us? Like, do y'all love the carnival, um, the circus show, and all that stuff that they put on? I mean, I'd love to know y'all rankings. If you guys have been on all these cruise ships, all where you guys fall in this? Like, do you guys agree with some of our rankings or not? Like, um, but for me, of course, MSC is going to be last. Like, I, I just didn't really enjoy any of the entertainment at all. So. And if you're lucky enough on the Norwegian cruise, and you like the Beatles, they oh, sometimes yeah, move the Beatles one. into the main theater yeah. and it is awesome. Yeah, we caught the, like the last 10 minutes of yeah. it and we were standing up in the back and it was fabulous. So yeah. that's what I'm saying. The quality of the, the singers, the court, everything of that quality was just way higher for yes. me. I said I wanted to do a quick um, ranking of the deck parties because I love deck parties. Um, not so much over here. Um, I'll be dancing. So, um, so where do you think deck parties had to do? Go ahead. Do your top five of deck parties. I mean like sail away parties, white hot party or whatever they call it. Glow parties, rocking parties. Um, whether they're, I call them deck parties, but they might be inside too. But yeah. parties, those kind of parties, how do you rank them just overall top five? Uh, definitely Disney. Uh, I mean, the only cruise ship that does fireworks at sea. Mm. Uh, they do a pirate party in which everybody dresses up that night in pirate stuff. Their sail away party is awesome. Just just put that little disclaimer at the bottom. He hates parties, so don't listen with his top five are. <laughs> <laughs> Number two for me is MSC. <laughs> MSC's parties were great. Okay. Keep going. Just finish your top five. <laughs> <laughs> Number three is carnival. I like carnival's parties, even though the whole thing is just line dancing. But <laughs> <laughs> Number four is Norwegian. Well, not much to say there. Number five is Royal because it's literally Royal. There were five people dancing yeah. in the promenade. And I will, uh, with that... I will say that I don't know if that's because we were on a three night. We're going on a seven night in November. Um, and that's a long time away. But when I make that video, if any of that changes because of the amount of nights, I'll add that in that video. Just just out of curiosity. I, I know I'm curious if the parties will change. Five people dancing. Yeah, that was very awkward. Um, <laughs> I was not one of the five, just so you know. <laughs> well, we can guarantee I wasn't one of the five either. <laughs> All right, so now the real ranking for deck parties or parties in general, if you want to have some fun, number one is definitely MSC. Like, oots, oots, yeah, oots. I mean, so again, I know he loves, loves the line dance music and stuff like that, but MSC, with it being a European cruise, the dance parties were... There was no line dancing. No, there was no line dancing. Mm -hmm. The music was totally... Uh, Different, uh, very hype. Everybody danced. Everybody, like the places were packed out. I De really feel like all 4,000 people were on the Lido deck for most of the parties. Yeah, he's a total funny day. So like deck party, MSC, number one by far. Easy. Number two, Carnival. They're consistent in all their parties across the line. I feel like, you know, you know what you're getting. They're going to be good, you know. Number three is going to be um, Disney. Because I, I, again, consistency. No, because, no, no, <laughs> no, you're wrong. Disney has a sail away party and a pirate party. That's it. So you get the sail away party on day one and you get a pirate party. That's it. Nothing else. So that's why they fall down to number three. They're great. I love their party. Don't look at me like that. Their parties are great, but there's two. There's not like, and I know it's a family ship. It's a totally different type of ship. So, you you know, but it's still, it's number three. Number four and five are going to be Norwegian and then MSC. I'm not MSC. Oh my goodness. Norwegian. I'm sorry. I'm so used to put MSC at the bottom. <laughs> Norwegian and Royal. Because again, Royal, I was like, did we miss something? Where's the parties at? Like that was a little disappointing. Um. We're just rambling here. I hope y'all made it through this part of the video and enjoyed the marriage counseling here. Um, private islands. So we can only do top four. We have not technically been to Carnival's private island. I'm not counting Umber Cove. I'm not counting right. uh, Turks and Caicos. No, their actual private island is... Um, Half Moon Key. Yeah, and oddly, we have not been to that one, but I'm guessing the big or cruise Princess ships... Or Princess Key. Yeah, they don't go to it, So, or we haven't been on one, so... Mm -hmm. 
we cannot rank that one. So unfortunately, this is kind of, you know, you guys let us know in the comments. Is, is, that, is that a good one? Should we... Go. All the videos I watch are great, yeah. and they're adding a peer to, I think it's half moon G, and so the bigger ships will be able to easily, easy, have a better chance of getting in, however you say that. So if you've been to like all the other cruise lines, and you've also been to carnivals, let us know if it's something like, we should we take a smaller ship just to go to the private island, because I'd be curious to see if it's, I love a private island day, so this is a big one for me. Yes. So, um, so obviously we're going to rank Royal, which is Perfect Day, Disney's Castaway Key, NCL's is Great Stirrup Key mm -hmm. and MSC's Marine Reserve something yes. or other, right? Yes. All right, hold on. I'm getting my thing out for this one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Private Island, Private Island. Again, you can't compare. But again, I will say, now it just depends on what you want to do on a Private Island day. That is true. Yeah, so I mean like, um, yeah. You're going to get water sports. You're going to get... Um, yeah very small slides in the water yeah, you're going to get great snorkeling the snorkeling is great yes um you also are going to get a private um beach for adults mm -hmm. with a private place to eat for adults yep um they do have a wide variety the bike of riding cabanas. on there is great yeah um they do the 5k i mean not that's not for everybody but i'm just saying like you have the, you also can be on the areas with the music and things like that. They have special areas just for the kids to go. So if like you are going as a family, you can, your kids, whether they be teenagers, they can go off and do, they have special activities just for them. Um, they also have yeah. where you can take your kids, you can check them into the kids yeah. club on the island, your little ones up to your teenagers and they, you have the ability to spend a couple hours on the beach if that's what you choose. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's yeah, it's just the most beautiful place. Our daughters always, when they were um, teenagers, yeah. always wanted to do the teen stuff and then come spend the rest of the day with yeah, us. Yeah, because they had an excursion yeah. just for teens, and it was a lot of fun. I mean, they, they raved about it. They wanted to do it every time. So yeah. Disney is hands down my favorite private island. Um, all Ooh, right, easily, number two. Hold on. Two. I want to say number... Hold on. Ah! Really? What did you pick? I picked Royal. I knew that I thought was... the food was so good. Yeah. Um, I think it would have been better if we would have just went to one spot and sat and then just sat there for the whole day. But we continued to try to oh, find an area you know that was a little bit less quiet. I'm changing quiet. my number two. I got you. Yeah. And that's because for me, a private island is not about all the... Um, and, and I know we'll probably get slammed in the comments. Y'all probably love perfect day, but I don't want all that all the time. Like for me, I look forward to the private islands just to go sit at the beach and relax mm -hmm. where a lot of people love the swim up bars and the pools and the loud music, which is great, but I want to just hear the sounds of the ocean. Mm -hmm. So MSC, I was able to find a great spot and I liked it. Yeah. I like Royal. Now, in our November cruise, they open up a new adults area that you can pay to go into, and we have that booked for November. Yeah, so I think that'll change my mind a lot. Which is funny because they have a DJ the whole time spinning, and she just said she wanted no, quiet. Uh, oots, oots, oots. I, I know that is tough. Again, it's preference, and, yes. and you guys understand. Like, there's days where you just want to relax in that, and there's days where you want to hear the music and the liveliness and. I don't mind, like, even on Disney, like, I love hearing the kids playing and everybody having a great time. Like, I love that. Yeah. It's, again, personal preference, but I loved MSC. Also, one of the things I liked about MSC was the ability to for the nighttime activities, that we were yes. there all day. You And that's unusual. Like, I wish Disney or the others would stay there past 4 o'clock. I mean, this yeah. is our beach day. Like, 4 o'clock and y'all are leaving. I hate that. So, MSC, you stay there at night. So, we went back on. We ate dinner. We got cleaned up and we went back out for the um, nighttime activities. If you haven't seen the video, you'll understand why. Um, uh, but it's just the ability to have that at night, which was great. I love that. So go ahead and finish ranking your private islands. At MS Disney. MSC is number three. Okay. I did enjoy that. And I thought the food was really, really good. Okay. Um, uh, Norwegian was number four for me. Okay. I don't like the fact that I'm having to tender to get to a private island. That's a oh, me problem no, because it causes you to miss it a lot of times. And as crazy as the weather has been throughout this winter, 
I mean, That's I've heard lot. of a lot of people having to miss ports okay. or, you know, because of tendering. Okay. Yeah. I think. And I'm, so yeah. I don't like that as much. Um, I'm now it is a time. beautiful, beautiful beach mm -hmm. and, but there is no shade. So like we said in our Norwegian video, if you need shade, you need to buy it before you go. Okay. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, we have a cruise in March on Norwegian and we had planned on getting the clamshell. Um, paying for it in advance so that we knew we had shades because of our last time and we can't get it I mean unless we can try to get it that day. They yeah, were they all, all gone. I mean, we missed yeah. them obviously again Like they sell out way too fast and, and it's not like we waited till last minute We were looking in December and we lost it. Yeah. So um, so I'll go um, I'm gonna go Disney. I will go MSC Royal then Norwegian mm -hmm. as far as that let us know in the comments. Do you guys agree? Do you and if not if you have a favorite tell us why like what are we missing on one of these islands that we don't know about? Oh Is this it? This is it. This is it. We're grinding down the video. Sorry. It's been a long video Hope you guys have not you know minded us ranting for so long, but um, Hopefully if you've enjoyed this I mean maybe you and your spouse or people you travel with also disagree or agree on certain things like I'll be curious Y'all leave me some comments. I want to hear um, so this is it. This is our overall pick of our top five cruise lines so far um, from what we've cruised. And um, again, I want to hear y'all's top five. Like, or, or give me your top. Tell us what we're missing. If we're if we've ranked yours low and you love it, tell us why. Then we'll check it out again. Yeah, and maybe see we'll maybe see what we yeah. miss. I mean, maybe we're doing it wrong. All right. Uh, hold on. Okay. I want to make one caveat. Okay. So on Disney, I get a lot of people that say you have to be Disney people or, yeah. you know, it's no fun because I don't have a casino or yeah. there are so many kids. You can do Disney without running into all of that. I mean, I it can't change the fact that I don't have a casino, but there's enough stuff to do for you to be able to relax and enjoy it. I understand that it's Disney all the time. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. I mean, I agree with that. And he's completely right. You don't have to deal with all that. But there are people that are Disney people. There are people no. that are anti-Disney. Like they hate, no. like they just think that's just stupid. And then there's people in the middle. If you're a, I don't like anything Disney, don't go on this cruise no. because it's all in your face. I mean, if you're like, eh, you know, it's whatever, it's fine. I can do it. It's probably worth it for you to check it out. My top five. <laughs> Can you see it? Can you see it? Okay, what do we got? Disney is number one. Uh -huh. Carnival is number two. Okay. Royal is number three. NCL is number four. And MSC is number five. Okay. Hopefully that's not backwards on the camera, but okay. Now, I will say value-wise for what they gave for as cheap as I paid for that cruise on the MSC and everything I got, yeah. that was worth the money. It just wasn't the most fun. You get what you paid for. Yeah, yeah. Get what you paid for. Not the most fun experience. No, for us, so... Yeah. And it's funny, it's not what you pay sometimes because no. NCL is very expensive. Yes, yes, I, yeah. And they're number four on my list. Yeah, I mean, we're doing another NCL this uh, in March and I it'll probably be our last one because of where it ranks. Um, it's not worth the cost for us. I would do Disney before I do NCL again, probably. Now I will say, if I go on Wonder in November, which we're going on Wonder of the Seas in November, Royal could pass Carnival. I mean, we had such a great experience on Allure, which we'll put out a video on about Allure. Yeah. Um, yeah, it could pass them. Yeah. All right, what do you got? Yeah, I don't have, <laughs> I don't have time for you. <laughs> yeah, I went overall because I took all of the categories into consideration. So, overall, yeah. Because I also took price into consideration. I know we didn't have a ranking for pricing and like value of cruises, but I had to put that in there. Should I go get the phone and put the girls on FaceTime for you? I, I, so I thought best overall value, entertainment, food, options, everything, best overall for me was Carnival. Like it, it checks all the boxes. So. I mean, if, if price was not an option, that might be different. I mean, I would think for me, I mean, because I mean, cost is important. I mean, nowadays, like I want to go on more vacations than less vacations, but yeah. if price was not an option, this would be totally different. Disney would be number one. Royal would be number two or vice versa. No. I mean, like, 
but price is an option for, is a it huge is. thing for me. So that's why Carnival made number one. Yeah. And I will put that out there. It, for the value, I can take so many more Carnival. I mean, we're going to take three Carnival for the price of one Royal or Disney. I, and so for me, that had to be a huge factor. Number two and three were really tough for me. And not only, and I, because if I don't want to be Disney every, all, all day, like to me, Disney service, food, everything is so great. But we went on the three night Royal. And like he said, I know we, it was only three nights. So I don't know if we got the full effect, but going on that big ship like that with all the different mm -hmm. neighborhoods and stuff, I could really easily see Royal just pushing right back up. Yes. Like I, I, I think I could fall in love with Royal and I don't want to because of the price, but I really loved Royal and of course Disney. So those, yeah, Disney would have been, like I said, number one, probably if it wasn't for price. And, and then obviously Norwegian and MSC mm -hmm. fell to the bottom, not shocking, but that's again, our, our personal preference. <laughs> Choose what fits in your budget, Yeah. book what you can afford, Find something, I mean, it doesn't matter. We want to go on Princess, we want to go on Celebrity. Yeah. It's just not these five cruise ships. These are no, just the five yeah. cruise lines we've gotten to so far. Absolutely, and and it is also too, like a lot of our friends will ask us, you know, which one should I go on? And it really just depends on how you like to vacation. Yeah. I mean, everybody likes to vacation different. That's why I'm really excited to take our kids on the one in May because they've only done Disney and we're huge Disney. Our daughter works at Disney. I mean, we're a huge Disney family. So I can't wait to see what they think of a carnival ship, you know, because yeah. carnival to me gets such a bad rap. You tell people you go on carnival and they kind of give you that, you know, ooh look. And I'm like, y'all are not like, don't be so rude. Like carnival's a great ship. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'll be really curious. Yeah. But. And we are very fortunate to be able to do all these cruises. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if you notice, our, our videos didn't start until a couple of years ago. Um, we have not been able to do these kind of vacations. Um, we've worked really hard to get to the point we're at today. Mm -hmm. So I'm very thankful that we can now finally start traveling and doing things we've always dreamed about doing. And, you know, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the videos. I'm glad y'all are, maybe if it's helping you at all between our hotel videos or travel videos hopefully they're helping and you know hopefully i can answer some questions so that it'll make your vacation better so if you are a creator you do videos please put your you know i don't know what do you call it a handle yeah in the comments. yeah let us know because i'd love to follow you yeah that way we can look and see what you're doing so please put your stuff in yeah there. we'd love to watch your videos and um if like i said if we're helping you make your vacation better i'm very thankful and leave your comments we'd love to hear hopefully this video didn't bore you guys too much. So thanks. And we will see you on the next adventure.